En um, er zijn zo van die momenten dat ik denk van... Um, misschien moeten we maar eens uh, zien te realiseren dat we hier... een paar kilometer verder in de bossen van Wassenaar... een, een groot leegstaand pand gaan betrekken om daar eens een, 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 een goede kostschool uh, te stichten. Waar de kinderen zeg maar, de hele dag met elkaar met muziek bezig kunnen zijn, met elkaar muziek kunnen maken. Algemeen onderwijs volgen, maar uiteindelijk uh, volstrekt daarmee bezig zijn waar ze hun talent in hebben. En zich daar optimaal kunnen ontplooien. In het Koninklijk Conservatorium in Den Haag wordt een masterclass gegeven door Ruth Nye, lerares van zo'n topinstituut. De Yehudi Menuhin School, vlakbij Londen. Ze geeft les aan enkele leerlingen van de School voor Jong Talent. Hallo, good morning. Hallo, you're kill, right? Yes. Yes, yes. Lovely to see you. And I believe it's your birthday tomorrow. So, hello. I'm a teacher. Hello. Yes, we met last year. We did, yes, that's right, yes. Good. This is, you know, this is a miracle, this page. Okay. This is the, the most special thing in the whole piece, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. It really is. Who would think, having done all he's done, that he'd finish the piece like this? Yeah. It's very much like Schumann, okay? Yeah. Right. So now you've really got to be so special. Okay, right. Lovely sound. D was too loud. I, I woke up. We're very lucky in England because we do have this scheme for specialist schools in music and dance, which the government supports very strongly. And if the child is British or a member of the EU, they come automatically under this government grant. And without that, I don't think we could run. It's very much a performing school. Every child has to do composition. Every child has to do improvisation. Every child has to do the basic theory. And then they do all their academic work as well. It goes from pastoral care right through to expecting the top, top, top attitude towards their work. Thank you. It was beautiful. It's amazing how difficult it is to play a note exactly the sound you want, isn't it? It, it is a huge advantage for the youngsters. So, if you, if you can find a fairy godmother that would just put the money in your lap and say, you know, this is what I would suggest you do with it. Set up a school. Engeland. Ergens op het platteland onder Londen. Hier ligt de school waar Ruth Nye les geeft. Opgericht door de beroemdste violist van de 20e eeuw. Lord Yehudi Menuhin. Menuhin bewonderde de muziekopleidingen in de naoorlogse Sovjet-Unie. Dat wilde hij ook in het Westen, want de opleiding voor piano- en snaarinstrumenten was in die jaren niet bijster goed. Uiteindelijk werd zijn school voor toptalent in 1963 opgericht. One, quite loud. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Don't rush me. One. Listen to the silence in between. And, and, and. One, Just four. One. Just four. Four. Just four. four. Pianissimo and staccato. Four. It's not pianissimo and staccato. Four. Well, this school is so special because it's, it is a total immersion in music. But then that's the sort of child that we select for this school is the sort of child that doesn't mind being drowned in music, if you like. I mean, that's what they want. Yeah, next doctor. I suppose you could say that the school is an unusual school for unusual children. And that's what makes it special. Yes. So in a sense, or you or I suppose or abnormal children, an abnormal environment for abnormal children, but because they're all the same, everyone's normal. So all the difficulties that you might have with gifted children being considered to be eccentric or difficult to deal with just becomes part of life here.
the staff, the headmaster and myself, we know every student. Every week I'm talking to their teachers. I'm walking around the school, I'm hearing them practice, I'm hearing their lessons. So we can monitor the progress of every child every day. And the way the music is mixed with the academics, so their timetable may be a maths lesson followed by one hour's practice, followed by a chamber music session, followed by sport, followed by history. It's, it's, it's absolutely linked in together. The, the music making or the musical education is completely integrated in daily life. Yes. And that must be an incredible advantage. There's a beautiful quote from Yehudi when he was asked once if he was going to retire. And he just said, does a bird stop flying? Uh, and music is what you do every day. It's life, it's like breathing. I suppose boarding is a, is a particularly uh, British way of life, but I think the only way that you can really make a school like this work is if you are boarding, if you do bring everybody together so that they live together in a big community. Um, that's it. It's a big happy family. Um, now, I, I'm sure a lot of people will be skeptical about that, um, but what is interesting is that once they've got used to the way of life, um, and sometimes they're very used to it, um, then um, really they almost become school sick rather than homesick uh, because this is giving them the life that they want and it is without doubt fulfilling their, fulfilling their ambitions. Top instituut voor toptalent. Zo logisch en simpel te bedenken eigenlijk. En wat een voorbeeld. Hier wordt talent pas werkelijk gekoesterd.